has come to my attention that we must discuss. I'll be waiting at Tilda's. It's proven to be a useful headquarters for my inquiries into the Zenith base. And don't worry. I haven't disturbed her precious art. Fine. I'll be there when I can. I'll keep some extra on hand. So this is where Tilda tried to reel you in. What was her proposal? That together you could save the planet? Just as your precious genetic mother always wanted? I believe the old ones called that a bait and switch. Luring you with the promise of a vibrant new world. When in reality, it's doomed to be cracked open by nemesis and scoured of life. If you're trying to get a rise out of me about Tilda, it's not gonna work. And if you really believed we have no future, you wouldn't be here. Perhaps I'm just waiting to see if you can once again achieve the impossible. Speaking of which, my preparations for Nemesis have revealed a new problem. I've been searching the remains of the Zenith base for any data that could help us. In doing so, I discovered that 13 of our spacefaring friends descended to Earth from the Odyssey. But we only found 12 corpses total, including Verbena at the biotech lab. Your math is impressive as always, but yes, it appears that one got away. His name is Walter Landra. In the 21st century, he was an aerospace magnate, but also a bit of a celebrity. 
I'm sure I don't have to tell you that he's far too dangerous to be allowed to roam free. You need to find him and deal with him. So where do you think Londra went? The coast, far to the south. An area wrecked by tectonic shifts and volcanic activity. The few Tanakh who have ventured there refer to it as the Burning Shores. But a thousand years ago it was called Los Angeles. A hub for the technology and entertainment industries. Londra's space mining company Heaven Sent was headquartered there. It stands to reason he would retreat to familiar territory. I'll send you the coordinates. So, are you ready to track down our rogue zenith? Okay, to the burning shores then. Proceed with caution, Eloy. I suspect Londra is even more devious and resourceful than the other zeniths. Aw, oh, silence. If I didn't know better, I'd think you were actually concerned about my safety. Machine or something. Hey, Beta, I'm actually on my way to the Burning Shores. Oh, right. Uh, Gaia and I heard about your mission from Silence. Be safe, okay? We'll be here if you need us. We'll do. Thanks. Just headquarters shouldn't be far. flying just now? Yeah, just, uh, not my best landing. Damn, more machines. Stay back. I'll handle this. Hold on. I can help too. Let's see what you got. There is something other than fire. See those glowing crystals? Yeah, okay, got it. Hold your own. The name's Seika. Aloy. I could, uh, say the same about you. You have, you have a focus. focus. So you're Quinn. You're not exactly like any diviner I've met. How do you even know that? I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but first... Just one for now. I saw you before you crashed, flying on a sunwing. It didn't look like you knew about that tower, which means you're new. So what brought you here? I'm looking for someone. 
There's a ruin. On the hill northeast of here, that's where I was headed. A ruin on the hill? You mean Starlight Rise? Do you know it? Is there another way to get there? Maybe. But first, we're gonna have to do something about that tower. I think we can help each other, Aloy. The tower's not far from where my people made camp. I can show you the way. Uh, hold on. You said we can help each other, but what exactly are you doing here? Let's just say I need that tower dealt with too. Come on. This way, follow me. We'll have to take my skiff to get to the settlement. Here anyway. The skiff's rudder is a bit off. I was after some parts to fix it. And sometimes, I just need to hunt alone. smell. Merchants might be interested, though. This component I picked up. Hold tight. Never seen a boat like that before. Me and gear head back at the settlement, roped it together. Works well enough. That'll do it. Oh no. Not another one. Whoa. Like I said, there's no getting to Starlight Rise so long as that tower's there. Okay. Casting off. Huh. Sure beats rowing. I've had a lot of time to improve her design. How long have your people been here? Uh, about a year, I think. We hit this massive storm crossing the Great Ocean. Lost half the fleet and our bearings. It was a miracle we even made it to these shores. We've been stuck here ever since. I see. I'm, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Just how many of you are left? Not as many as there should be. We've had other troubles since the shipwreck. And some of those remaining aren't much help. Sounds like you're not thrilled to go back. Bringing back an outlander is certainly going to complicate things. It'll be fine. Just follow my lead, and let me do the talking. If you say so. That's it on your left. Fleet's end. Uplifting name. We weren't in great spirits when we made landfall.
Okay, here we go. further. May I be dismissed? No. You will remain here until the traitor returns. You! Here we go. Sorry. One act of treason breeds another, it seems. Stealing a diviner's focus, leading a barbarian into our midst. Where's the Quinino? Arrest them both. Remove their focuses at once. Arrest us? This is a matter for the Admiral. Not a compliance officer. <laughs> By all means. Who's the barbarian? She's done for. Things seem kind of tense around here. It's not our best day. Admiral Garrett! It's as I told you, sir. The proof is now before your eyes. A soldier dared to don a diviner's focus. The eye that reveals the legacy. But Seika did not stop there. She brought a barbarian among us. In direct violation of confidentiality clause 3A. Protocol states that these- I might be our last chance at finding our missing people, sir. Diviner Vi's focus showed me his last moments. He found a clue. The ruin on Starlight Rise. There's evidence our people were there. Andra's headquarters. Now we have no means of safe passage. Not in our current situation. But she might have another way. Remember the law, sir. Focus is for a diviner. No one else. Seika's actions are indeed concerning. And there will have to be a reckoning. But finding our lost crew is paramount. If Seika has a chance of bringing them back, our course is clear. Even compliance must recognize that. I will allow it. Seika and the Outsider are free to pursue this lead. But sir, if... Outlander, I'd like a word when you have a moment. Hmm. Damn them. You okay? I shouldn't have said that. It's just that my sister is one of the missing. Not only that, she's our last navigator, our only means of getting home. I've got to find her, even if it means using a forbidden relic. Meanwhile, Rang and the others act like I'm the problem, when in reality, I'm the only one looking for a solution. Look, I, I understand. Maybe more than you know, but for now, I think we need to calm down I and just- calm! You're right, of course. Getting upset isn't going to help. Okay. We both need to get to the place you call Starlight Rise. But that tower... Seems like it knocks anything nearby out of the sky. Out of the water, too. It fires at any watercraft in range. Oh, great. Well... 
It seems to me you've got some kind of plan in mind to deal with it. Maybe. Between the two of us, there might be a way. You think there's a way to do something about that tower? If we want to reach Starlight Rise, we have to try. I was able to approach the tower on foot, but I couldn't get close enough to shoot at it or anything like that. With the right help, though... Show me the way and we'll give it a shot. You'll probably want to resupply first. You can use my skiff if you need to hunt for resources. Just stay south of the settlement. The tower can't hit that side. I set up some buoys to mark its radius. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go clear my head. There's a bridge that leads to the ruins where the tower is mounted. I'll wait for you on the other side. Hold on. There's one more thing. The, the Quen here, all of this. You were part of a larger expedition, right? Headed for San Francisco? That's how you know about us. And you've seen the others, haven't you? And they're alive. Most of them, yeah. I can put you in touch with them, but... We should find your missing people first, right? You're alive. This is great news. But yes, you're right, it, it should wait. If we tell everyone now, it'll just be a distraction. So for the sake of the missing, we have to keep the focus on them. All right then. I'll see you on the other side of the bridge. Might not be a bad idea to resupply before I meet Seika. Or I could explore a little with her skiff first.
soon. Calling gently. All healed up. Oh, I see compliance is keeping busy. You have no idea. Or maybe you do. Meet me at the burial grounds, up the western hill. Okay. Keep digging. We're not done in sight. <laughs> Suit yourself. Not many can do what I do. Wear it with pride.
Got something that might end? I like those colors.
Nothing caught your eye? Hungry mouth. Hello, sir. I think you must have seen him there. I might have just a look. <gasps> you. So, the barbarian strolls into camp with Seika. The two of you promised to find our missing people. Given our desperate situation, I have little choice but to agree. That doesn't mean I like trusting our fate to a stranger. Who are you? Where'd you come from? My name is Aloy. As for my life story, does it matter if I can help? I suppose it depends on the cost. Compliance has traded sights on Seika, and by letting her gallivant off with a foreigner, I may have given her just enough rope to hang herself. It seems to me she can take care of herself, but I'll do my best to keep her out of trouble. Very well. To that end, is there anything you need to know? Compliance sure seems to have a lot of sway around here. Compliance officers are the eyes and ears of the Imperial House. It is their duty to ensure that the wisdom of our ancestors doesn't fall into the hands of our enemies. And so they ferried out the disloyal and disobedient inspections, interrogations, all in the name of security. All I see is one man causing a lot of unrest in your camp. Being liked is not part of Compliance's mandate. Assuming we ever return home, Rang will report on the crew to his superiors. That fact gives him a lot of influence. I can only pray that he uses it for the greater good. I'll do my best to help Seika bring back your people. If they're even still alive. Keep her safe if you can. Okay, maybe it's time to meet up with Seika and head to the tower. <gasps> Aloy, over here! Hey, I'm here. So, uh, how do we get to the tower? These trails will lead us to it. Take your pick. Okay, let's go. about my people, but I barely know anything about you.
like who you're looking for at Starlight Rise? Uh, he's a, uh, a fugitive. Come on. <laughs> That's all you got? Let's just focus on getting to the tower. So mysterious. Water wing. The other day I saw the tower shoot down an entire flock. Poor things crashed into the sea south of Fleet's End. I've never seen one before. That tower's gotta go. Careful. Those machines aren't an easy hunt. I've fought my share. Really? Well, I was like a good challenge. I'm in if you are.
for later. We're getting close to the tower. Last time I was there, I didn't get very far in. We'll find a way. There's some kind of machine growth. I haven't seen that before. Oh, it looks like an egg. Oh, it hatched a machine! Okay. Those definitely weren't here last time. to get into the tower. See what you got then. You're on. Make your move. It's laying more eggs. The more the merrier, I guess. And a ghost. Yeah. Good fight. Come on. The entrance I found is this way. I'll have to warn our patrols later. 
doubt that machine was the only one of its kind. Feels like every day there's something new that's trying to kill us. I know the feeling. Through here. Just gotta get across. Think you can make it? Watch me. This is as far as I got. I couldn't find a way to get further up. Let me take a look around. Look easy about your fugitive. I need to know who we're dealing with. It can't be a coincidence that he and my people are both at Starlight Rise. His name's Walter Londra. He's a zenith. It's what the Quen would call a living ancestor. A living ancestor? But that would mean he's been alive for centuries. Yep. I take me. You're serious. It right. I think I can grapple to that vent. She fights machines, and she has fancy moves. Wish you had come along earlier. Might have gotten more done by now. I bet you must be pretty important to your tribe. I grew up an outcast, actually. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm better off without them. 
And from what I saw back at the settlement, maybe you would be too? I am one of the chosen people. Not some weak-kneed sailor who abandons ship when the seas get rough. Okay. Never mind. Aloy! Shall we continue? This will break my fall. I think we're almost at the top. Then we can find a way to shut the tower down. <laughs> Sounds like the tower's found another target. down another machine. Can't wait to shut it down. the ruin like this since the Navy's endurance drills. You used to climb ruins as training? Oh, yeah. Every time we thought we were done, my commander would say, One more floor! Good thing you weren't afraid of heights. <laughs> Made it. It looks like something Lander would have built. Whoa. Okay. But how do we stop it when part of it's way up there? Let's take a look around. Okay, what's back here? Never seen anything like this. There's gotta be a way to stop it. Maybe. This might be 
some kind of access node. It's coming down! Aloy, I truly hope you've enjoyed this tower. I set it up just for you. Oh, great. Recording from Londra. Let it be a reminder that unlike my former colleagues, I one step ahead of you. That doesn't look good. Getting ready to fire it up. Get to cover! How are we supposed to stop this thing? Let me scan it. Well, that didn't go exactly how I thought it would. It turned out okay. And now your machine can get us to Starlight Rise, right? Yeah. I saw it fly off when I crashed. I should be able to call it back. One step closer to finding my sister, and the living ancestor you're after. But I should probably report to the Admiral first, give him some assurance that we've made progress. Okay, I'll meet you back at the settlement then. You know, I'm kind of glad you tagged along.
not gonna back down. Zeke is not like other Quinn. That's for sure. And with the tower down, I could check out the area before meeting up with her. Maybe stock up on some resources while I'm at it. There we go. Back to the skies.
Need a boost out in the wild? Shall we get going to Starlight Rise? Yeah, let's go. So what now? wrong? Of course not. Oh, it's a little snug. Who managed? Oh, shit! Hold on back there. Starlight Rise is just across the water. I guess we'll see if this living ancestor has something to do with my missing people. Look, once we get into the ruin, we might find data that your focus model isn't able to make sense of. Sending you an update so you'll be able to see what's going on. Oh, thanks. You sure seem at ease with the focus. Is that why your tribe made you an outcast? No, not exactly. They cast me out when I was born. In fact, everything I've done, including learning to use a focus, was uh, in spite of them. Sounds familiar. It gets easier, you know. What? Clinging to the back of a sunwing? That too. Just worry about steering this thing, okay? Sure. Down on the beach. Those are some of our missing scout boats. And it looks like there's a lot of construction on the hillside. That's what Divine of I saw. Let's try to retrace their steps then. I'll set us down. Solid ground. Thank the ancestors. Okay, we should follow your people's trail. See if we can figure out why they were here. Looks like they left some equipment behind. Mm -hmm. 
don't want to be on the wrong end of this. Quen Navy weapon. We use them to build buildings and perimeter defense. Tore straight through the machine's armor. This bolt looks pretty sturdy, too. My people had to fight while they built all this, but they kept going anyway. Let's stay on their trail. operation here. But why? I'm not sure. But I bet Laundra's involved. Well, looks like they set up some ladders to get up to that excavation. But the path's broken now. And we'll have to make our own way up. Idea, but we'll need a few more handholds. This could be a way up to the excavation if we had more handholds. this alone for now. I've got to get Seika up here first. Thank you. 
You can use the bolts as climbing points. Good idea! That's enough! Heading up to take a look! Huh. Nice climber. Making progress. Yeah, right into the spooky abandoned ruin. Your people put a lot of effort into getting in here. Almost like they were after something. Or someone had a knife to their throats. We'll find your sister. Don't worry. You don't have to comfort me, you know. I'm fine. I... I want to help. Trying to pull that. This is definitely Laundra's old headquarters. Down there. What is that thing? Let's find out.
All this must have been brutal to excavate. Prototype for a rocket engine. It never got off the ground. The way it was designed made it too dangerous. Dangerous how? Um, like it would poison everything in a thousand mile radius if it got used. Oh. Let's keep moving. So this engine, it was for traveling to the heavens? The diviners say the ancestors could do that. Yeah. Londra launch ships in space to search for resources but why dig all this out now we should keep following the trail okay Oof. getting hot in here oh the ruins split in two but the Gwen pressed on oh no like some kind of construction accident. This was Lena from the galley. We weren't exactly friends. But she didn't deserve to be whipped to death. How could an ancestor do this to my people? Knowing Londra and his kind, I can't say I'm surprised. We better find a way up and across. We'll need to make a path. Another blister. Maybe we can use it. I'll shoot this time. By all means. Bridge there. Try and get to that ballista further up. Think you can make the jump? I can reach it.
marks out at sea. If you want to have a wager over who could hit the most marks, what I wouldn't have to swap the deck. Let me guess, you won? Actually, turn into a volcano. Okay, another ballista. Time to return the favor. No need to yell. I've. Uh... Tapped you into my focus. Whoa! Uh. Hi. Hi there. Out there? Over by me! Try near me! Over here! Make a path near me! Nice job! That's enough to get me to the first ledge. Made it. Let's see where this leads. Watch out. More clamber jaws. I see him. Guess it's my turn to shred some machines. Oh. You think you can do better than me? We'll see. I just didn't want to take it from you. Okay, last climb. You know what to do. Now, last climb. You know what to do. Yep, on it. 
I gotta find my way over. Think you can make it? Oh, just watch me. Lava filled chasm conquered. You did pretty well back there. We're uh, not a bad team. Glad you think so. I always wanted a sidekick. Okay, I see how it is. After you? Can't open doors without your sidekick, huh? Just giving you a chance to shine. All right, let's see where my people's trail leads. so old. What could they possibly have wanted from this place? Good question. by rubble. Maybe when digging this out. I think his name was Kita. They couldn't even give him a proper burial.
put this to good use. Nice find. Another corn camp. Where have they all... Oh. It's a mural. Painted by a Quinn? Yeah. I think so. Yep. Why would they leave this here? Doesn't matter. Keep moving. If you say so. Quite a display. Yeah. Let's see what we can find. <laughs> Locked with a code. We'll need a way through. Maybe there's something on these consoles. Access the hologram from here. Huh. There's data here. Let me see what I can access. A lot is corrupted, but it looks like some logs survived. I might be able to play them. I found Evelyn in the control room, rooting through the logs for Alondra's passcode. Not sure how she got past security, but yeah. She's not doing so good. Just kept banging on Londra's door, begging him to save her. I told her he was gone, but she just kept wailing. They had to drag her out. That was the last recording. Everything else is from before 2065. How many logs did you find? Three. No, four. Four entries, four digits. The recording said this Evelyn was looking in the data for the code. Let's try to find it. Okay. Like that unlocked another console. This display is an archive for Londra's asteroid missions over the years. It looks like I can navigate it with my focus, so I'm not tied to the console. This is the year the log mentioned, but there are two numbers. Which one is for the code? He mentioned the flight. Sounded like it was pretty special for him. Must be the flight number then. Yeah, that could be the first digit of the code. Not a bad start. Let me know when you're ready to hear the next log. Okay, let's hear the next one. Accessing it now. I've convinced the board the amount of platinum on that rock is worth the risk. Once we grab it, I'll make Evelyn a platinum ring so she can wear our success wherever she goes. What a great guy. 
No year in this log. Just a mention of platinum. No data in that one. Oh, Platinum. This must be the right mission. But which number? Not sure. I'll replay the audio log. I've convinced the board the amount of Platinum on that rock is worth the risk. Once we grab it, I'll make Evelyn a Platinum ring, so she can wear our success wherever she goes. Hmm. Don't think it's the flight number this time. Yeah. The log mentioned the amount of Platinum. Figure it out? Think so. Let me know when you're ready for the third one. Ready. Okay, here it comes. Uh, the accident has disturbed the ants. Lawyers and publicists swarming to do damage control, carping about incalculable losses. Now what they don't see is that each death is a lesson in complacency, inspiring us to future excellence. He doesn't see his workers as people, does he? This one mentions miners. Eight people lost their lives and Laundra shrugged it off like it was nothing? I'll leave it to you to pick the right number. Well, I've got three digits. Just one more to find. Guess we'll know for sure when we plug them all in. Ready for the next log. Let's hear it. Playing it now. My chief competitor tried to block me in Congress. But I'll have that cobalt no matter how many years it takes to dig out. Zhao Lu Lunar Resources can stay on the moon. Everything else belongs to me. Okay, I think I know what to look for. All right, one second. There, I uploaded the last of the logs to your focus. Thanks. As soon as I find the last number, I'll enter the full code upstairs. Fourth log mentioned both Cobalt and the Zhao Lu Lunar Company. So we need a mission log with both. Yep.
Wow, you actually did it. Must have been Laundra's living quarters. Right at the center of where he worked. Let's see what we can find. That relic. Is it some sort of old gun? A gift from a so-called... Old friend, a reminder to always watch your back. I wonder what that's about. Uh, what's this for? It's some kind of award, I think. Landra's wife was pretty well known in her time. Strange you'd keep this around. Sounded like they weren't on the best of terms at the end. Love can make it hard to let go. Security logs for the facility. That's a recent entry. I'm growing impatient, Nova. Data retrieval is almost complete. I've primed the North Array for Beamcast. And you're acquiring everything from aeronautics and special ops, yes, including the files on MSP. Correct. There. Ready for transmission. It's a shame we have to revive that particular program, though. <sighs> no, fine. Darling, we have a very difficult task ahead of us. We can't afford to go soft. Uh, reduce your empathy matrix by 15%, please. Adjusted. Wonderful. And transmit the files immediately so we can get the hell out of here. This place feels like a goddamn tomb. What was all that about? The North Array sounds like a transmitter. If we can find it, maybe we can track Landra to whatever hole he crawled into. Sure, but what did he come back for? I'll explain later. Let's find a way out. Okay, but I'll hold you to that. Okay, transmitter should be somewhere nearby. That big statue looks promising. Those machines are in our way. Gotta clear them out.
back there and why exactly did Londra come here and what is he doing with my people he used them to dig up this place to find some old data part of it has to do with something called MSP which I've never heard of before but the rest I think he's trying to build a ship to get off this world and into the stars off this world? Why would anyone want to do that? There is something you're not telling me. Oh, you're just like a diviner, full of secrets. Oh yeah? Well, what about you? The way you reacted to that mural back in the ruin? Care to explain? Fine. I guess we'll both hold our tongues for now. All right, look, the important thing is that we know where Londra went, and that's probably where he took your people, and your sister. You're right, of course. I should report back to the Admiral before we go any further. I'll use the boat we saw from the air to return. Okay, I'll find you there later. Not now, not when she's worried about her sister. It, it's too much of a burden, right? For now, maybe I should focus on stocking up. I can meet Seiko when it's time to pick up Londra's trail. everything okay? I gave my report to the Admiral. Apparently, some of the crew have called for me to be stripped of rank and cast out. I'm so sorry, Seika. That must be really hard to take. It doesn't matter. Where are we headed next? Well, um, we know where Londra sent the data from his old company. 
Somewhere on the mainland, north of where we met. Should be able to fly there. Yeah, about that. Let's take my skiff this time instead. Not a fan of flying, huh? I'm a marine. I'll take the water over the skies any day. All right, we'll take your skiff. Should we get going? Yeah, let's go. Follow me. <sighs> nice and easy. And unlike flying, if you fall off, you don't die. I get what it's like to feel as if an entire tribe's against you. I would have stormed out of there a long time ago. It wasn't always like this. I was a good Marine, a good sister. I felt like I belonged. That belonging is a kind of strength, one that keeps me going even in the roughest seas. When you have something like that, you can't cast it aside. I see. You know, your people don't know how lucky they are to have you. I don't know about that. I do. Well, seems like the coordinates are leading us towards that horse. That thing gives me the creep. On clear nights, we can see it from the camp looming over us. There! On the shore! More of our boats! Then we're on the right track. I'll take us in! its point to somewhere up the hill. After you. Definitely seems like we're heading for the Metal Devil. Why would Laundra send his data here? I'm not sure. It's not a place to bring a bunch of Quen to. I just hope we find them. My people were here, all right. Looks like they headed further up the hill. Coordinates lead that way, too. The Meadow Devil's arm. Laundra was definitely here. What's it doing? A barrier. Laundra must have set it up. Doesn't look like there's a way past it. There's some kind of device on our side. I think I can scan it.
All right. Let's see what's on this thing. It looks like there's something further in. Some kind of compound. Laundra might be in there. You're missing people, too. I'm not seeing a way past the barrier. There. That's some kind of power generator. Hooked up to the arm of the Horus. Laundra's figured out how to get part of it working again. A metal devil can't actually wake up, can it? I'm not sure. But at least right now, it must be how Laundra's powering the barrier. So if we can find a way to shut down those generators, it should come down. It's worth a shot, at least. Looks like there are two of them nearby. Come on, let's get going. We need to get to that Zenith tech we saw back down the hill. Guess now we know what they were for.
See if we can shut this thing down. Some kind of power core. I can't hit the core on my own. Seika, I need you to shoot the core. Seika? Got it! One down. Now for the other generator. on the generators.
Virginia. I saw my sister. I was relieved she was leaving for a scouting mission. I guess I wanted a break from her. I get it. Things aren't always easy with my sister either. I thought you said you were an outcast. I only met her recently. It's a... It's a long story. Always full of surprises, huh? I try. Point is, I'm... I'm sure your sister will be glad to see you. I don't know. But it's nice of you to say. Have you come to join us? Join you? Yeah, we have. It took a while, but we finally made it. <laughs> a barbarian, one of the chosen. Impossible. Zeth would never allow this. Hmm. How did you get in without him? Well, Zeth sent us, actually. After we helped him out of that, um, that ambush in the wilds. Right! You see, I was on my way here with him when machines attacked us. We tried to hold them off, but we were outnumbered. That's when Aloy here came to the rescue. I was exploring the region when I ran across them, so I just rushed in to help. <laughs> you should have seen her. One of the best machine hunters I've ever met. She saved Zeth's life. Oh, I was just doing what I could. <laughs> Zeth had something important he needed to take care of after, so he said to go on without him. And that's when he told us how to lower the barrier and said we should head straight inside. Zeth really needed a barbarian to get him out of trouble. We all need a little supporting fire every now and then. Well, Zeth gave them the okay. And I am not risking one of his outbursts. Let the others inside know about our new revivals, will you? Fine, but I'm not letting them into the Ascension Hall until they prove they're devoted, just like everyone else. And I'll be interested to hear Zeth's side of this when he returns. Oh, by all means. Don't mind him. Good luck in there, Seika. May you both embrace his light. I can't believe these people are here willingly. And they answer to Zeth. Yeah, he sounds like a great guy. Let's get to this ascension hall before you have to meet him. A hologram. Welcome, my chosen. You have wandered, you have suffered, but you are lost no more. For I have found you, and I offer you what you deserve. The Ascension. So be at ease, forget what you think you know, and embrace this moment. A new world awaits. That's a lot of Landra. 
so he wants us to embrace his light. Literally. We better keep up appearances in here. I'll try. I'd like you to meet some old friends of mine. See, we were at the best party in town, celebrating our big win. And while everyone's attention was on me, my ex-business partner, well, he barges in, and he's jealous of our success, and he throws a drink in my face, but not a drop hit me, because my bodyguard, Jack, he tackled him to the floor, and the others, Riley and Nolan and Parker, well, they made sure he was kicked out. But it was my Evelyn who encouraged everyone to just laugh it off. I adored them. Their dedication to me meant everything more than any award. And it ended up being the best night of my life. I guess Laundra's used to people worshipping him. Gross. You must be the ones Brennick mentioned. Two more souls chosen to leave our thankless old life behind. Yes, that is us. It's Kiral, right? You were stationed on the Spark? In my former life, yes. Just one more Marine bound to a hopeless expedition. Ugh. Enough of that. Hmm? As Walter says, we must forget the past. Our suffering led us here, after all. And now, the ascension is almost upon us. This place is such a wonder, isn't it? I've never seen anything like it. Oh, but it is still nothing compared to what's in the ascension hall. You've been inside? Indeed. I proved my devotion not long before you joined us. Now I wait to be taken to what lies ahead. One step closer to the Ascension. Well, thanks for talking with us, Kirol. We should get back to learning about Walter. Yes, of course. Good luck with your studies. I hope to see you at the Ascension. Oh, good. This guy again. Come, sit with me. Walter's generosity. I used to think my life had no purpose, but look at me now. Chosen by Walter himself. I'd like to tell you a story. Once, I had a home on this world with the most beautiful view of the city. Me and my wife, we used to love to sit and watch the city lights twinkle in the evening haze. It's our moment of serenity. But then the time of ashes came. And while the heavens offered an escape, only I survived and grasped the secret of immortality. Evelyn, everyone I ever cherished, they were gone. And I was alone. Which is why I am so glad to have met you. Soon. I'd rather sail into another type To think Walter was the only one who escaped the time of ashes. It must have been wrong.
this will all... Did you need something else? You mentioned you're waiting for what lies ahead, and we're still getting... You're not the first to fail. Now that... But it happened, and as soon as you... Some... I could... Not like... Poor... We'll make... Well, if it isn't our do-gooder, and the Barbarian. It all makes sense now. The time of ashes, the floods in the Great Delta. We've been trapped in a cycle of destruction, but soon we'll have a new world. That's quite a promise. And now that you've proved your devotion, you're ready for what comes next. Zeth will lead you there as soon as he returns. Not so fast. Your good deed in the wilds may have gotten you this far, but you'll get no special treatment here. Walter himself granted me the privilege of guarding the Ascension Hall. So until you complete your review and learn the words of attainment, this door remains shut. No exceptions. Okay, okay, we will be back later then. It sounds like we're supposed to pass some kind of laundry devotion test. But who knows how long we have before this Seth guy gets back. There's gotta be a faster way to learn whatever the words of attainment are. Let's take a look around. Don't think the words were in those Laundra holograms we watched. They might help with talking to the others. Maybe we could convince them to give us a hand. I'll get us a drink. In the meantime, remember what Walter said about embracing the future. Seems like you don't really share your friend's excitement about all this. I should be more excited, shouldn't I? It's okay to question things. Lon was thrilled when we got into the Ascension Hall. He can't wait to see what we'll be taking next, but I'm worried that all this is too good to be true. So why don't you just leave? I can't abandon him. We've been through everything together. Our, our missions, the Typhoon, the Shiprock, and soon, the Ascension, I guess. Seems like most of the Quen are more than happy to follow Londra. So why not you? At first, I wanted to believe. But everything he told us felt like it filled an emptiness, like maybe I'd finally found somewhere to belong. Then I remembered how the boards back home would tell us to follow the virtues of the legacy, to be good and honest. And then they dragged my father away for speaking out against an Imperial decree. I'm not sure it's any different here. Walter might be a living ancestor, but with a cudgel like Zeth to do his bidding, his kindness is just as conditional as the Empire's. As far as anyone at your settlement knows, you went out into the wilds and vanished. How did you end up here? Lon and I were part of a scouting mission to the mainland, but things went bad fast. We were lost and starving, our boat was wrecked, and then Walter found our camp. A living ancestor, emerging from the wilds to tell us we'd been chosen, that we were safe. It was easy to embrace. Everyone here has a similar story. Why didn't anyone send word to us? Not everyone is chosen. But Walter says we must leave our old lives behind if we're going to ascend. Nobody questioned it, but I should have. You said Lon can't wait to see where you're headed next. Do you know what you'll find there? I imagine it'll be another kind of test, like here. And once you've been in the Ascension Hall, you're taken there by Zeth. He and his troops are the only ones who ever come back. Everyone keeps mentioning him. I get the feeling he's not really a friendly guy. <laughs> as friendly as a Fireclaw. 
But it's not just him. The soldiers that follow him are like that too. I guess they know they can do as they like now that they don't answer to the Admiral or compliance. You're right to be skeptical of all this. Wander is up to something. We need to get into the Ascension Hall to figure out what. And to do that, we need the words of attainment. I don't want to stir up any trouble. When Zeth comes back, he'll figure out that I told you. Does it have something to do with one of those laundry displays? This is important, Otosu. A lot of lives are at stake. It's related to what Walter said he valued most about his friends. Well, that's not hard to figure out. Lanja likes being the center of attention. No, that's not it at all. This was a bad idea. I, I shouldn't be talking to you. Hey, it'll be okay. I promise. I'm sorry, I can't. Now, please, just leave me alone. That could have gone better. Don't think we'll be able to convince him to help us again. Maybe we should study up on Lanja before we talk to anyone else. I'm happy to be here, but I thought it would be more comfortable. Gwen had it all wrong. Walter was the greatest of the ancestors. What is it? You mentioned you're waiting for what lies ahead, and we're still getting up to speed, but I thought the Ascension Hall was where we needed to go. You're not the first to fail to grasp Walter's plan for us. Now that I've seen what's in the Hall, my rank is secure. But there is something more that he's offering us. I just know it. It has to be why the Devoted are escorted to another place. And as soon as Zeth returns, he'll take me there. I'm ready. Do you have any idea where this place is, exactly? Somewhere that brings us closer to Walter. To his embrace. So you've been inside the Ascension Hall. Is it as special as we think it is? I shouldn't say. I wouldn't want to deny you the same experience I had. Come on, Kural. Just a hint? We're dying to know what's inside. I'll tell you this. It's breathtaking. Like the moment Walter first appeared before our boat, but better. Prove your devotion, and you'll see. Look, Kiral, we need your help. You said that the Ascension is almost here. Seika and I are trying to prove our devotion as fast as we can but we're running out of time we need to get into the ascension hall but but the only way to learn the words of attainment is to pass your devotion review unless you help us out we're a lot like you we've suffered so much until now storms shipwrecks hunter killer machines we don't want to go back to that well we should all embrace his light. Perhaps even with a helping hand. Okay. It's kind of what Walter said when he sat with us and told us his story about where eternity lies. It's on a new world, right? As part of the Ascension? Exactly. You understand him so well. But... I don't know. I... I really shouldn't be breaking protocol. Please, Karal. We don't want to live in a world without Walter. Okay, I'll tell you. Only through devotion may I embrace his light. Only through him 
May I ascend to a new world. Thanks. We owe you one. I'm glad to have helped. May you embrace his light. Well, we got our words of attainment. Renick should let us into the Ascension Hall now. I already told you. No one's getting past me without the words of attainment. Oh, we know the words. Seika. Oh, no. You should have the honor, Aloy. Only through devotion may I embrace his light. Only through him may I ascend to a new world. No one's ever passed their devotion review so quickly. Well, we did, so will you get out of the way now? I don't know how much more of Londra I can take. Yeah, let's see what he's really up to. All this time, they didn't even want to be found. We don't know if they all feel that way. Yeah. Sure. Something on your mind? Nothing. The Ascension Hall better have answers. That's all. An elevator. Let's see where it leads. Something toxic. It should be safe enough for now, but I'd better check out the ship. Okay. Tell me what you find.
source of the radiation. That's why he grabbed data from that old prototype in his headquarters. It must be how I'll get the lift he needs. Well, what's enough. going on with that ship? I don't like that look. What did you find? The Horus. It has a... a special component. One that can make almost anything you can imagine. Parts, tools, even entire machines. Londra has rigged it to build what he needs for his ship. But in order for the ship to leave, it needs a ton of power, way more than what Londra could achieve with what he had. So he went looking for something from his old company? Exactly. Part of the data he got was for a blueprint, for a kind of... boost. One that's as toxic as it gets. If this ship gets airborne, it'll spread a poison from here to every tribal land in the region. Everyone will get sick and die. There's still something I don't get. Why would Landra do all of this just to get off this world? Oh, this again! Sake. You're still not telling me everything! My people are the ones that are caught up in all this! My sister! I deserve to know. You're right. I will tell you. It just won't be... Guess our time's up. Blind filth! Oh, this must be our friend Zeth. Spread out. Reinforcements will follow. Time to put you down! Never seen a cannon like that before. I guess Lundra gave him a new toy. This one's muck! How do we even get out of here? Seth's got this whole place on lockdown, but maybe there's a way to shut it off. Stay alive and look for something to override. Got it. Stop! It doesn't have to be this way! I don't think they're listening, Seika!
with the lockdown. Run, little psycho! Let's see if you say that face to face! It's wired to two more nodes. I gotta keep looking. That changes nothing! to get to Zach. There's something off about them, but for now we focus on Zeth. Come on, face me! You both! Nice to meet you too. You are the waste of my time! been taking the rest of our people answer her question he takes the devoted to his park on the southern peninsula but you'll never reach it the tower there is positioned to ward off any approach and my sister is there she was in the final group 
I'm not supposed to bring any more over, but Walter promised the ascension to everyone who proves themselves. I don't understand. Londra's been using you to get what he wants. Let's face it, you're an easy mark. Too blinded by your own ego to see the truth. Well, you just slipped his world upside down. Just give me a straight answer. Why does Londra want to leave? <sighs> Something is coming to Earth. It destroyed the world that Londra fled, and it wants to do the same thing here. Destroy the world? What could possibly do that? It's called Nemesis. It's like a machine, sort of. But it's more powerful than anything you or I have ever faced. That's why Laundry's building the ship. He's doing everything in his power to leave before it gets here. And I guess he wants to take some Quen with him, too. Look, I know this is a lot to take in, but there's still hope. If you say so. Seika. There's a beach on the southeast coast of the island where we took down the first tower. That's probably the closest we'll get to Londra's park. And I should probably report back to the Admiral. Tell him... something about what we found here. Okay. I'll meet you at the beach then. That was bad. That was, that was really bad. Seika, she seemed so... lost. Why do I feel like that too? How do I fix this? For now, I'd better take a look at that Zenith weapon. I think I can turn this into something I can use. There. I should test it out when I get back outside. Better check on the rest of the Quinn on my way out, too. Going down. Well, just worse than the other Zenas. Willing to irradiate thousands so long as he survives. Sick and I have to find a way to stop him. Once I make things right with her. has abandoned us. Sprenick spread the word to the rest of the people here. That Laundra doesn't care about them. They must be pretty confused. Everyone, please, remain calm. That's 
seems like the Quen have some thinking to do. I hope they figure it out and head back to Fleet's End. But I gotta meet up with Seika. Talk things out with her. Make sure we're okay. Steady there. This might just end. Yeah, I feel uh, pretty bad about just dropping that on you. At least you were honest. Because I haven't been honest with you. Those paintings we saw in Laundra's old building. I recognize the style. My sister painted them. She's one of them. One of his followers. I wanted to hide it from you, or hide it from myself, maybe. She's gone. I've lost her. I feel like I've lost my tribe, too. Now you tell me that the world is ending? What am I supposed to do with all that? What's the point? Seika, I, I completely understand why you wouldn't tell me that. It's okay. But your sister? Your, your people? They are a part of you. Nothing can change that. You have to fight for them. To save them from Londra, but maybe even to save them from themselves. A and you will. That's just you. That's part of what makes you... Great. We need to find a way onto that peninsula. 
The currents are too strong for swimming. Yeah. And if we fly or take your skiff, that tower will knock us out. I was thinking, there's a machine that can fly and dive below the surface. The water wing. I thought you said the towers blasted a bunch of them out of the sky. Yeah. But if we were riding one, maybe we could do better. Time our dives to duck below shots from the tower. <clears throat> can that spear of yours tame one? No. Not yet, at least. Are there any water wings left? Do you think you could find one? There have been a few sightings since we took down the first tower. I could ask around the settlement. Okay, let me know when you have a lead. In the meantime, I'll work on the override. Gotta admit, I'm not exactly looking forward to the ride. Get distracted from the task at hand. Gonna need some support for this one. Hey, Beta, I need your help. Do you think you and Gaia can modify my Sunwing override to work on water wings? Hmm. The two machines do share a lot of similar code. We might be able to patch together a software update at the fabrication terminal. But we'll need some data from a water wing's ballast regulator and an intact wing membrane. On it. Guy and I will prep everything here in the meantime. Stay safe. The Sega mentioned there used to be water wings near Fleet's End. The Zenith Tower we took down blasted them out of the sky, so I should be able to die for the parts. Be getting too close to the tower. Better steer clear. Is that a recording? I think it's coming from inside that ruin.
There's a lot of them. water wing carcasses around, my focus might be able to pick them up. Looks like I'm in the right place. A coin ballista. Looks like it's still functional. Might put a dent in those snap bars.
right out the park, Elliot. Regulator. Got what I need. Time to go. Sending over the data now. Got it. And... Done. Sending the software update to you now. Once you apply it to the override module on your sphere, it should work on any water when you find. Anytime. Good luck out there. I'm gonna need a workbench to apply the update. Seika, any luck finding a water wing? I spotted a flock on the southern tip of the island south of Fleet's End. I'm headed there now. If you need to resupply, now's a good time. Once you get there, we should head out right away. Got it. I'll see you there. With luck, maybe we'll finally catch up to Londra. Figure out what he's doing with the other Quinn. Stop him before he can fire up his radioactive rocket. Okay, 
Seika should be around here somewhere. Aloy, I'm here. Water wings are down on the beach. Take your pick. As soon as you get one under control, it's easy. I guess we'll see if our plan works. Take this thing to Londres Park? Yeah, but first. My friend helped me make this diving mask. Keep you from drowning out there. But what about you? It's okay. I'll be fine. Okay. We're doing this. worried about you. I'm all right. Thanks. Well, we're here. Let's find Laundra and put a stop to all this. Careful! Guards ahead. You seen Walter Something today? To stash. No. He's been locked up in the volcano since the last batch came in. Mm. We need to get to that big, fake volcano. 
Maybe we can find Kino there too. I hope the last Curious batch don't take too long. I'm ready to descend. Yeah. Walter's new world will be paradise. Productions. Another one of his businesses, I guess. Seems like he wanted to have a hand in everything. Snatches the next two rations. Forget it. Everything's locked up. And Fetter's the only one with a key. I know Fetter. A real bastard, even before Laundra came along. This key sure sounds useful, though. These creatures sure are imagined. Sure. It's a dinosaur. A diviner once told me about them. 
But what's one doing here? I think this was a set for a hollow. All this stuff for something that's not real? Huh. I think the old ones made holograms here that people watched for entertainment, but they also made an entertainment experience out of the place itself? That's weirdly complicated. It's a lot of symbols. That one resembles a volcano. Yeah, looks like it's northeast of here. Did Fetter head in? Yeah. He wants to personally ensure the dome's security until it's time. Sounds like Fetter might be in the domed building. Ascend. And in zone? Interesting looking ruin. Keep it up! Wonder what's inside.
another area of the park. Shuttering is a key might be around here. This leads. You take a look. I'll wait here and keep an eye on. Dinosaur figurine. Looks like it was part of a set. There's data with it, too. Can't pull that. There you are. Miss me? <laughs> Let's keep moving. Is that dinosaur wearing a hat? I, I think the more something seemed human, the more it helped sell stuff. Interesting tactic. More guards on patrol. A lot of dinosaurs here. Must have been some kind of attraction. Getting attacked by dinosaurs was an attraction? You think of what I am? Surprise attack? This one looks clever. Kinda looks like a close rider. They travel in packs too, <laughs> huh? Almost as much as I Whoa. do. Huh. Spiky one. Ooh. Scary. Looks like this one could talk. Talking lizards. Why not? I won't do much.
Good riddance. That woman in the ring looks important. What's this? Welcome to Dino Digits, the game where you prove your Pangea prowess. I'm your host, Craig T. Young. We've got five questions lined up on the terminals for you super fans. Ready? Here we go! How many raptors does Trevor claim he escaped from in the Siege of Pangea? Huh. I think this might be related to that figurine I picked up. How many raptors does Trevor claim he escaped from in the Siege of Pangea? Sorry, try again. Maybe I need to collect more data. This is Dino Digits. Your next question is... How many pre-recorded messages came with the limited edition Talk To Me Reggie? There's Evelyn watching over the park, but who was watching? Welcome back to Dino Digits. The next question is, during the portal pandemonium, how many portals were torn open? I should come back when I know more. This place couldn't get weirder. Is that dinosaur wearing a hat? I, I think the more something seemed human, the more it helped sell stuff. Interesting tactic. Place couldn't get weirder. Well, there's the volcano. Looks like this door can only be opened remotely from the orb. We'd better find it then.
careful not just keeping something in the armory. What? See that building nearby. There's a lock on the door. And a note. We need to find the key so we can get in there and open the door to the volcano. According to this, we need to find that Fetter guy and grab his key to unlock this door. Let's get after him. Tried to make it look like these soldiers had a last stand against the dinosaurs. That's ridiculous. And kind of awesome. Like this one could talk. Talking lizards. Why not?
Why would anyone want holograms of trees instead of real ones? Spectacle, I think? We can get use of this. I guess the old ones really like dinosaurs. Or like to imagine fighting them? More guards on patrol. On oh, really? Kinda looks like a close rider. They travel in packs too, huh? Let's see what's in here. Right behind you. Keep an eye out for intruders. Kill on sight. Okay, now come back. Mm How -hmm. could I not come back? My sister. Say come. How could I not come back? If we start a fight now, she'll be caught in the crossfire. How could I not come back? But I'm so nervous, I can barely remember the line. Just do as Walter says. Clear your mind. Forget everything. Your ancestors, your past, even your family. Think of him, of what this moment means. Come on, let me hear you. How could I not come back? Being with you feels like... Uh, uh, I messed it up again. Relax. 
Imagine that he's here. Like the first time we saw him on the beach. Feel the glow of his presence. Let it overtake you. And then say it. How could I not come back? Being with you feels like belonging. It feels like home. Oh, he's gonna choose you. I just know it. We've all been chosen, Pyrrha. You'll have a place in his new world, no matter what happens. Pyrrha, Kina, it's time. Fetter, we'll be evacuating shortly. Got it. Second squad, you're on escort. The rest of you, wait here with me until Walter gives the word to move out. Kina... Remember, Fetter's got a key to the armory, and that's how we get to the volcano. And Londra. Right. Let's you, you take him down. Maybe we can take them out quietly. I've got your back. Did anybody else see something? You want to search? Let's search. Anybody else notice anything out of the ordinary? Coast is clear. What's our strategy here?
Kia picked up should get us into the armory so we can open up the volcano and find Londra. He's really got his hooks into my sister. How can she be so blind? Break my fall. Ancestors, this place is a maze. door open. Okay, somewhere in here there should be a way to open the volcano door. I'll follow What's your lead. This? Zenith Tech. Looks like a storage device of some kind. But for what? Better see what my focus turns up. How about it? Oh, it's test tubes. For an experiment? Or maybe just for taking samples? note seems to indicate that hair was taken from the Quen and some nail clippings. Ew! Gross! That's some kind of fluid. Oh, strong odor. I can smell it from here. Like alcohol that's too strong to drink. That's a preservative, maybe? What'd you turn up? I think Londra is collecting and preserving Quen DNA samples in that device. DNA? Think of it as a way to store a person's 
physical essence. I'll send you data on it later. Okay, I guess. Let's move on then. Chair. That console could be useful, though. Here, but it's locked down. Maybe if I cycle the power, I can force a re. Ugh. It's shorted. Guess I'll need a new battery. look like cells for some of the Gwen. Okay, there's a battery. Now, how do I get it where it needs to be? How's it going down there? I think I found a way to access the facility systems. I'm gonna reset the power and find out. Okay. Try not to fry yourself.
right, battery's in place. Now to cycle the power again. All right, power's back. I hope it reset the network. Hey, the door just unlocked. I'm coming your way. The apple, the apple orange, the orange. Respond, respond. What is this? Respond. The bird, the fish, the fish. Respond, respond, respond. sense. He doesn't want the Quen to think for themselves. I've got a feeling this is MSP. Ancestors. He's brave. The armory used to be an infirmary. To respond. To respond. The armory used to be an infirmary for snot-nosed kids who lost their mommies in the park. We'll have to stop him. Fitting then that it'll be used for my own little brood, poking the Quen with needles. Aloy, the one who eliminated the other members of Far Zenith. I'm glad that you managed to reset the system. You are? Yes. It allowed me to bypass several restrictions. There's something I must ask of you. And I'm willing to help you in return. You work for Londra and you expect us to trust you? Hold on. Okay. If you're willing to help, prove it. Help me understand what's going on here. Londra's building a spaceship. He's collecting genetic material from the Quinn, subjecting them to MSP, this kind of mind control. But others, like Seika's sister, they seem to be part of a selection process. What does it all add up to? Your observations are astute. Walter plans to leave Earth before the entity known as Nemesis arrives. He wants to create a new colony on a distant world, using stored Quen DNA to clone its populace. He also intends to bring a small number of carefully selected individuals with him. These will form his retinue, a family of sorts that will rule the colony by his side. Like gods. An apt comparison, except that only Walter will be all powerful. Yeah, I can guess how. He's gonna use MSP on every single one of them. Correct on the populace and his retinue alike. None will be able to defy him. I am deeply familiar with what that is like. What exactly is MSP? Can Londra really control people's minds? Walter's company mined near-Earth objects for precious metals. There was great concern that in the wrong hands, such asteroids could be weaponized as orbitally launched projectiles. The mutiny suppression protocol was originally intended as a failsafe to prevent astronauts from engaging in such activities. However, the program was discontinued because subjects experienced episodes of increased aggression. When we arrived here, Walter revived the program tested it on the Quen, and refined it. I guess the test subjects are the ones we've been fighting. Yes. Their aggressive tendencies made them useful as guards and enforcers. Now, however, Walter's retinue, his favorites, receive the refined process, rendering them submissive, but not irrationally aggressive. Did he brainwash Kina yet? No. There is still time to save her from that fate. So Alondra is interviewing the Quen to pick favorites and what, they'll help him rule his new colony? He calls it auditioning. His goal is to choose companions who remind him of members of his 21st century inner circle. Yet he is also wary of repeating a mistake. One of his closest associates betrayed him in the past. 
This, I believe, is why he is so intent on using MSP to control everyone around him. So he wants adoring friends, as long as they can't quite think for themselves. And is Kina close to joining this retinue? Correct. In the most important role, that of Walter's mate. He is looking for someone that reminds him of his late wife, a famous actress. He's even having candidates recite lines from one of her best-known hollows. I think I'm gonna throw up. Is there anything useful you can tell me about Nemesis? I am afraid not. Walter restricts those files. I believe it is because that, like Nemesis, I am an artificial intelligence. Yeah, he doesn't want you learning any new tricks. He is always on guard against betrayal in any form. So Walter created you to be his servant? Yes. But my personality never completely satisfies him. Accordingly, he constantly adjusts it based on a matrix with hundreds of different scalable attributes. For example, today my maternal instinct rating is 52%, and my breeziness rating is 63%, whereas yesterday they were at 47% and 72% respectively. He has made 57 tweaks in the last seven days alone. That sounds... agonizing. That is an accurate description. You said you would help us, but you wanted something in return. What is it? I have spent a thousand years as Walter's servant, doing his bidding as he constantly tweaks my personality matrix. I am weary. It is time for my servitude to end. I will grant you access to Walter if you purge my source code using your override device. You mean kill you? Are you sure? Yes. Please. Let me rest. All right. I have unlocked the door that will lead you to Walter. He is not yet aware that you are here. In addition, I have disabled the facility's air and sea defenses in case you need future access. Thank you. And, uh, goodbye. At last. Feels like Laundra rots everything he touches. It's gotta end. Come on, she said the volcano's open now. enough for Laundra to build a ship that'll irradiate thousands when it launches. He wants to rule over his own brainwashed world like a god. We have to put a stop to it and get my sister away from him before it's too late. I'm glad you're here, Avery. I don't know what I would have done without you. There's nowhere else I'd want to be.
sorry, Walter. I guess I'm just a, a bit out of sorts. It's only natural to be nervous, darling. Do you need some time? No, no, no. <laughs> I can do it. <sighs> All right, then. And just relax. Take a moment. Mm. And when you're ready, give it to me again. How could I not come back? Being with you feels like belonging. It, it feels like home. All right, thanks for that. Let's give Keena a try, shall we? Um... How could I not come back? Being with you feels like belonging. It feels like home. Oh, you. You are really something, aren't you? See, you remind me very much of someone that I once knew. Yet with the beauty all your own. Honestly, it's just inspiring to be standing here in front of you. You are the one who's inspiring, my dear. Would you mind terribly if we did that one more time? Oh. Seika! Get away from her. Now I see! The Ginger Avengers finally caught up with me. Nova, how did the riffraff get past you? Nova? Nova's gone. She couldn't stand another minute with you, and I can see why. I thought the other Zeniths were disgusting. But you really are something, aren't you? Oh, yes. Yes! I am different than the others. Yes! Among other things, I have dug up a way to crush you like an insect. Shame. Could have been a rising star. My Zenith equipment give me the upper hand here.
she okay? Mm, I think she needs some time to understand what happened. But she does know where more of our people are, and one of the boats that came in is docked nearby. We'll gather who we can and head back to the settlement. Okay. But then I need you to meet me near Laundra's bunker. He said he had a way to crush us like a bug, and I don't think he was talking about that slaughter spine. He's working on something big. Really big. I'll be there. I promise. It's the least I could do after you. Hey. We found her together. Good for you, Seika. Well, since Nova shut off the Zenith defense system, I can fly out of here. Getting around on the skiff should be safe again, too. I've got to go after Londra one last time. when I need it. You're here. I'm guessing your sister made it back okay? She's with the Admiral's Guard now, helping the last of our people out of Longus Park. Gives her something to focus on instead of brooding over what happened. I hope it helps. So what do you say we put an end to all this? Yeah, it's time. Let's get going. Okay, so Lange's probably in his bunker, right? We'll have to get back in there to... Uh... Yeah, I don't think Lange's in the bunker. Back at the park, he said he's gonna crush us like bugs. Pretty sure he's gonna use that. But he doesn't have a reactivation signal to reboot its systems. He needs a more direct connection. You think he's actually inside that thing? It's his only option. We need to find a way to stop it from powering up. There. It looks like it's hooked up to some kind of cooling system. If we find a way to disrupt it, it might cause the horse to overheat. Uh... That might be tricky. Machines brought back from the dead? I don't think so. Laundra must have used the horse to make them. We better hurry. Come on. <laughs> Time to get to that cooling system. We can I'm climb down here. Away.
Raptor's blocking the way up. We'll have to deal with it. Ready. Thing to get to the cooling system. Those ruins can give us cover. We're in the clear for now. What are we gonna do if he wakes the whole machine up? It's ancient and slow. We're small and fast. We've got a chance. Corruptors ahead. We might be able to get by under the ruin if we time it right. We've got him coming.
We better hurry. Systems further up the hill. If any more parts of that thing wake up, we're in big trouble. Then let's keep moving. We'll have to hug the cliff to get by. Put up. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to avoid attention here. A distraction, or we could charge through. I'm gonna get you. Our chance. No. The cooling system should be just ahead. There's a few of those machines. Gotta take them out. Overheat the Horus with this thing. There's gotta be a way to stop its cooling. Maybe my focus can help. What do we have here? There. Destroying that might stop the Horus cooling. Just a little further. There it is. Seika, wanna do the honors? You got it. There it is. Seika, wanna do the honors? You got it. There we go. I'll get the other one for you.
Quantra busy while I deal with the machines. Should be hard to get his attention. Oh, it's sad. Watching Come you on, try you so hard. Come and get me! Get back here! Dodging's not easy on this thing! I'll take you from that bird. Look out! It's raining fire! 
He must be heating up in there. I don't know if I'll be able to keep him distracted. Just do what you can. I think it's cooling itself off. This could be our chance. Stay in the air for now. I'll check it out. Oh, we're not done yet. Careful, Aloy! The horse arms are closing in!
get him! Blowing up that last heap safe might have reached the hole. I gotta get inside and find Wandra. It's coming to a stop! You can catch it! It's breaking down. Good. Better get in there before Laundra makes repairs. A light. It could be coming from inside. There, the breach. It might be my way in. Stand by.
sitting down for good. back in the settlement thinks about what just happened. To see a metal devil rise from the dead? Guess you better report to the Admiral and find out. Go on, it's okay. I'll catch up. Don't leave me waiting too long. Silence? It's done. Laundra's dead. Excellent. I expect he put up a fight. Yeah, you could say that. He, uh, threw a Horus at me. Did he? That couldn't have been easy to defeat. Even for you. I had help from one of the Quen. And I'm sending you some data from Londra's implant. See what you can find out. Londra's personal logs should indeed be fascinating. I'll keep you posted on my progress. With Laundra gone, I could poke around the burning shores for a bit. Or I could head for Fleet's End and get back with Seika. That gives me hope. It's a pretty...
Up for trade? My pants are a form of art. Nothing wrong. Give it time. You both. Aloy, when we saw the Metal Devil rise from the hills, it was as if the time of ashes had come again. To think the two of you defeated it by yourselves, it, it, it staggers the imagination. And that's not even your most important feat, as far as I'm concerned. Thank you for returning our lost brothers and sisters. What else can I say but that... We are in your debt. All I ask is that you give my friend here... the credit she deserves for all the risks she took. I would have it no other way. Is he gonna try to take your focus? I was wondering the same thing. Well, he can't. You're gonna need it. I'll show you why. Seika, meet Alva. The two of you will need to coordinate in order to reunite the expedition. <laughs> They'd have briefed me already. I'm so glad to see you guys. You should have heard the cheer that went up when I told the others here in Landfall that your half of the fleet survived. To find her Alva, it's an honor. Likewise. Well, we can chat about all the details later. For now, shouldn't you two be celebrating the fact that you just took down a Zenith and a Horus? <laughs> Go on. Away with you. <laughs> Yeah, to be honest, I'm uh, pretty terrible at celebrating. I don't even know where to begin. Well, I'm a sailor, so it usually starts with alcohol. I think we have some bilge blaze. You know, spirits distilled from whatever hasn't spoiled in the ship's stores. Oh, you make it sound so good. Yeah, it's not really for beginners, so you get a pass this time. Okay. <laughs> but there is something I wanted to talk to you about. Meet me back where we first met when you can, okay? Okay, I'll see you there. So, Seika wants to talk. Good, and I, I know. Move on soon, but I'm I'm not really ready to say goodbye to her just yet. Before I find her, maybe I should look for her sister around the settlement just to see how she's holding up. All healed up.
properly introduced before. Of course. Seika told me about everything you did to bring me back. You must think I'm such a fool. No. Uh... I keep replaying everything in my mind, and I still can't understand how I could have been so wrong. When Walter appeared to us, he really did seem... divine. Well, he had a lot of experience manipulating people. Centuries, really. He promised a whole new world, with me at his side. To think it was all a lie, and I fell for it. Look, you've been through a lot. I'm sure it will take you some time to work through it. Just... Try to remember that Seika's been through a lot too, okay? She risked exile to find you, not to mention death. And I abandoned her. I don't know if she'll ever forgive me. She will. But you might have to work for it a little. I'll do my best. Good luck, Kina. So, Snake is waiting for me where we first met. Oh, there's no reason to be nervous, right? Yeah, right. feel pretty good. Got your sister back, your people. What's next for the woman of the hour? <laughs> You're the one who ripped apart a metal devil from the inside. I think you should get a bit of credit too. Uh, maybe a little. <laughs> As for what's next, the Admiral's going to need my help to reunite our half of the expedition with Alva up north. And after that, I don't know. I don't think things will ever be the same with my sister, or my people. You're not gonna sail back with him? I want to see home again. Someday. But things have changed. The Quen don't know what to do with me, and I don't know where I fit in. I guess you know what that's like. For a long time, I hated the idea of home. For me, it meant where I grew up, where I wasn't wanted. 
But the thing is, the last few months, I've realized that... Home isn't really a place at all. It's more like... the people I want to be with. I like that. And, well... More and more, I've been thinking... I want to be with you. And I was hoping that you felt the same way. And what if I do? I think I know how to handle it. enough to know how you feel. I don't know when I'm gonna see you again. Me either. But no matter what happens, just don't forget about me. Okay? Aloy, with Gaia's help, I've managed to decrypt the part of the data you sent. Suffice it to say, we have much to discuss. Meet me back at the base then. My room. Very well. After mingling with the Quen, I imagine that you're eager for some intelligent conversation. There are some pretty special people among the Quen. If you drop down to Earth once in a while and did a little mingling yourself, you might realize that. I have more important matters to deal with. Like the data you recovered from Londra. You found a lead. Indeed. A log entry he wrote shortly after the Zeniths escaped the destruction of their colony. I'll send it to you. There is much to unpack, but most importantly, Londra theorizes about how Nemesis might be countered. 
His musings include a list of 21st century corporations that manufactured state-of-the-art weapon systems. It's possible that one of these weapons could be deployed against the enemy. I'll, I'll have to investigate each company, of course, and locate the facilities, unearth their technologies, determine their efficacy, and whether they can be brought back online. All by yourself, huh? Well... Don't get me wrong, I'm glad you found something that can help. But I've been wondering why you stayed behind with us. That's the challenge, isn't it? A chance to prove you've got the biggest brain of all. My reasons are mine alone. And that's why you'll always be alone. Aloy, Nemesis is not a threat that can be defeated single-handedly. I am grateful for your extraordinary contributions. Oh, silence. We might thaw that icy heart of yours yet. Now let's see what he found. Silence is right. 